who caused an absolute sensation yesterday. Uh, or was it two days ago? Certainly in the first round, beating the defending champions Hoki and Kobayashi. They're up against the Olympic champion Li Yang, but not playing with his Olympic winning partner. Here in Denmark, he's playing with Lu Cheng. Well, of course, with the Danes putting out the top seeds, this has to be from the top half of the draw. And we can see that the bronze medalist from the last World Championships, last year's World Championships, I should say, Ong Yu Sing and Tiu Yi Yi, awaits the winner of the match we are about to watch. The uh, former World Champions, Hassan and Seti Yuan, have gone out. Uh, they've lost to Lu Cheng Yao and Yang Po Han. They've uh, obviously loved playing here in Denmark. They've been a semi-finalist in the past and the most successful pair on the world tour this year, Alfian and Ardianto are through to the quarterfinal. That Indonesian pair, seven world tour or international tournament finals so far this year, winning three titles. So their good run of form continues for Alfian and Ardianto. The Danish pair, Yepobai and Lasse Mulheda, who caused a sensation in the first round. Uh, beating the defending champions and former world champions Hoki on Kobayashi. And they will certainly have the crowd behind them. And they're up against the Olympic champion Li, Li Yang, who here in Denmark is playing with Lu Cheng. Unknown quantity as far as this partnership is concerned. Of course, we know that Li Yang is a wonderful player. Well, of course, with the pair from Chinese Taipei playing in their very first tournament together, this has to be the first meeting between these two pairs. from England will be our umpire for this one. Li Yang? Yes. OK. Li Yang, would you like black or red? Red. Red's cold. It's black. Uh, I serve. Yep. Did so, the Danes won the toss and have chosen to serve. Li Yang and from attack. So, a pair from Chinese Taipei have asked to start this near side of the court. Opportunity for one of these two pairs to get through to the quarterfinal. Yepobai is 25 years of age, 178, that's 5 foot 10, from Helsingor, Eastern Denmark. That's where we get the ferry. Where I used to get the ferry before the bridge was built, I used to get the ferry to Malmo. From there, his partner. Lassa Mulhala will turn 29 next Tuesday, five days' time. And they are currently enjoying their second week at their career high of 23. Now, they were quarter finalists two years ago, lost to Ivanov and Sozinov from Russia, who then went all the way through to the final. They didn't play last year. But there is that magnificent result against the defending champions, Hoki and Kobayashi. They were 9-14 down in that opening game, promptly won 12 of the next 13 points to close it out, 21-15, 21-14 in the second game. It was remarkable. 
I certainly didn't expect it for a start. Li Yang is 27, the Olympic champion, of course, with Wang Chilin, and they're currently number two on the world ranking. But Wang Chilin, I haven't really uh, found out why he's not here, whether it's injury. I know he's doing a lot of other things at the moment. Uh, uh, Entertainment-wise, he's uh, been singing and he's been appearing on shows. Lu Cheng turned 23 last month. And this is their very first really tournament play. together. And in the first round, uh, they beat Kusi Fei and Noor Izudin of Malaysia in two straight games. So, as I was telling you, Alan Crow of England are umpire for this one. Van Eyck of the Netherlands, the service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Li Yang and Lu Chen, Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Jeppe Beer and Lasse Mulheim, Denmark. Lasse Mulheim to serve to Li Yang, love all, play. So the Danes, the far side of the court, Jeppe Bai and Lasse Mulheim uh, against Li Yang and Lu Chen. Run off to change his racket, Li Yang. One low. making sure he puts the racket with the broken string back in the racket bag so that he doesn't prick up a, a broken racket if he rushes off again. be wary One, of two. Lee Yang at the front of the court, the Danes. a little bit Two, of nerves. Three. Of course, when the Danes were in the quarter-final two years ago, it should be pointed out that very, very few Asian players made the trip to the Denmark Open because of the travel restrictions at the time. Oh, nicely finished off. Bye, yeah, bye bye. Over. 
Oh, my goodness, yeah. Four, oh. String breaking and the shuttle getting caught in the broken string there. Well, that's why the string broke, because he hit the shuttle, not in the sweet spot in the middle of the racket, but at the, near the frame. What a good return of serve. Hitting with the drift. Lu Chen. He's got to think about that. Take a bit of pace off. Five. Oh, that's misjudgment by Lu Chen. Clearly, in badminton terms, that wasn't even close. Oh, great intersection from Moorheader. That was perfectly Seven. timed. Turn of serve, very awkward for Moorheather to intercept the third shot. Oh. 
the Swides and therefore the Danes go to the mid-game interval with a three-point advantage. Flot stod langt fremme. Flot blokkede af. Ikke? De enkelte gange, hvor vi øh, kommer til at trykke den, så husk, trykket skal ligge mellem øh, øh, netspiller og bagspiller. Og så bliver stadigvæk stående. Kommer der en vild overspilling, så må vi løbe ned ad den. Vi må bare ikke bakke. Nej, vi må bare heller ikke bakke, ikke også? Ja. Det er stadigvæk langt fremme. Selvom de begynder at, at gå op og udfordre, ja. så, så er det spillet. Vi må ja. som sagt gerne lave en enkelt overspilling. Hver gang vi løfter til nu, så står han ikke ud Det er bare langt fremme. Ja. Ja. Yes. Okay, vi er langt frem. Blok. Og så klar måske. Okay. Well, there's definitely something about a block in there. Eleven eight. Play. Yeah, that's a good flick serve. Short rallies, we often see this in men's doubles. So much emphasis and pressure on the service situation. Serve return in the third shot. Oh, my goodness. Trying the drive serve. Found the net. Are saying too late, I think. Yeah. Well, it was way long. And he's going to, he's going to lose the challenge anyway. But I, I think I understand that the rules say that the challenge must be immediate. But I think you, in doubles, you should be able to consult your partner as to should we challenge that? Yes, no, then challenge. And I think it's, you know. I can understand for singles that there's nobody to consult, but in doubles, you should be allowed to consult your partner. Another three shot rally. Serve return in the third shot, end of rally. Maybe the third shot is a, a winner or a loser. Here we go, this is better. Defence there. Drive defence into the open space. On the back level. 14 all. So 
number 15, all. That's well judged. Well, it's point for point at the moment. 14 all, 15 all, 16 all. Saying sorry <laughs> almost before the shuttle had hit the floor. <laughs> that certainly wasn't going to come back. <laughs> First time that the pair from Chinese Taipei been in the lead. Straight points in this combination. Good return, good pressure. That. Yes, they're challenging. And I think that may have been just wide. Wipe the court, please. Wipe the court, please. Here we go. No, it caught the line. That was amazing, wasn't it? It's halfway to getting up and had to dive again. Thank you, Lester. level 19 all
going to go long. And the game point opportunity is earned by the Danes. Yeah, bye bye, and that's them all over. So their opponent's run of four points answered with the run of four points themselves and a game point opportunity. No, not this time. Game point well saved. So 20 all, an extra point required until there's a clear two point winning margin. Wrong. Well, there's another challenge here from Li Yang and Lu Cheng. Oh, I suspect they won't win this challenge because they were hitting with the drift. And it is liable to have taken the shuttle long. I didn't really see it land myself. So no challenges left. But it is a second game point opportunity for the Danes. Good serve. Amazing defence as well from the young. Second game point, one was saved. Lovely drop. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. Neck cords. And still, the rally continued. There's a final neck cord and a perfect cross court neck shot. From Yepa Bai. Will it be third time lucky for the Danes? Third game point opportunity. And that off the longest rally of the match so far. Oh, that's brilliantly saved. Oh, that's well wide. So having just saved three game point opportunities, now Li Yang and Lu Chen have a game point opportunity themselves. But they can't convert either. What an open game. 
23 all. Absolute heart and soul went into that smash from Jakobai. And it's a fourth opportunity for the Danes to close out this opening game. Oh, my goodness. That was a huge opportunity for Bai. Well, he's allowed to bend his knees, he's just not allowed to move his feet. 24 all. Brilliant. That's very well played by Lu Chen. 24. Urging himself on the Olympic champion. So second game point opportunity to Li Yang and Lu Cheng. is long. So the drama continues. 25 all. That's a great interception from Lu Chen. Service over, 26-25. Game point number three for the pair from Chinese Taipei. <laughs> Would you believe this? Are we going to have a sudden death at 29 or? I wonder. couldn't challenge even if they wanted to because they've squandered both their challenges that was clearly long anyway fifth game point opportunity for the Danes end 
decision from the Olympic champion, Li Yang. And that cost him dear. 28-26, the opening game to the Danes, the home players, Jeppe Bai and Lasse Mulheider. This the final rally. Look, he's watching, watching. He should have left it, you know. I thought it was going long. But by the time he decided to play it... Yeah, yeah, look where his feet man, were when he played man, that. It was way long at the back line. Okay for us well, that's all man. academical yeah, now, yeah, because yeah, the opening game the to the Danes. Yeah, it's a, it's a hard 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 what an opening game, 29 minutes. Fram, we have to stole on that we can be able to dump it. We know that Lou has a clue in his arm, and it goes a lot that way when we set the fire to him. Angrebet går i begge retninger. Det er deres mægt jerk ham. Men i spillet er der selvfølgelig, hvis vi har overtaget, så er den del. Når vi kommer ind i det der battle hele tiden, så er det ikke, jeg ved ikke, hvad det er. Når vi har mulighederne i defensiven, ikke også, så er det den her død på catchen foran eller imellem dem. Er vi i battle, så er vi i battle. Så skal I ikke lø- prøve at løse den i et slag der. Vi opsummerer lige. Langt frem at stå. Stol på, at vi kan spille stop bolden, og så catch him clear again, because they come to challenge him. Bowman, he has to be on the lookout for that part. Call 120 seconds, call 120 seconds. Yeah, precisely, precisely. Yes. But catch him clear all the time. Well, what an opening game that was. 28-26 in favour of the Danes by and Mulhager. Well, Kenneth Jonasson, the Danish head coach, urging them to close down that net, get on the attack. Got to be positive. Getting on that net as coach wanted them to do. Nice drop. That's beautiful disguise from Mulheda.
Oh, that was going wide. Was jolly lucky. Trickled over. Yeah, it's landed in. Well, I'm not sure the umpire's got his microphone on. willing to make the call himself as the line judge was unsighted. Umpire calling for the instant review. No players are going to lose any challenges for this. Yeah, caught the line. Service over. Five, four. Play. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah I think serve is good too. Hitting Six, against the drift. Four. Able to use the lifts, pushes, flick serves. Yeah, inside edge of the line. No wonder he's cross with himself with that. Uh, tempo's just dropped a little at the moment, but then it was so intense towards the end of that opening game. That's not altogether surprising. Long. Ah, 
Uh, it was a terrific serve. That got the net court. That's why it was so difficult for Lu Cheng. Oh, no, he didn't get the net court. He just changed his mind. Back level. Come on, oh! So it's over. Nine, eight. Short. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there was a huge shock in the first round, apart from the number one seeds going out. Last year's beaten finalists, Kim Astrup and Anders Rasmussen, they also lost in the first round. So the two finalists from last year, both de oh! defeated in round one nine. this year. What a difference a year makes. So it's a two-point advantage for Li Yang and Mo Chen. At bolden stopper op foran os, så so de her bløde, de ligger i mellembanen. Dem, dem skal vi altså have ben på, ellers så skal de lige have lidt mere i armen. Ja, okay. Det vil med at træde langt frem. Ja, de har fundet en enkel der. Husk, når vi kommer frem, slå teknisk for at være hurtig på den, på den anden, ikke også? Eller på den næste. Ja. Ja. Hey. ben på med de bløde bolde. Ja, præcis. Men der, der er ikke noget, der har ændret sig. Ja. De slipper, de slipper smart, man. Kom ned, så skærer den ned i fødderne. Okay? Langt frem stå. Klar med den ske. Ja, sorry. Så er det den her. Ja, Kenny Jonasson. Saying nothing's changed. We're still trying again to try and do the same things. You've got to go forward to the net. Or we'll think about moving forward. Play. And Danes need to be careful here that they don't allow the pair from Taipei to pull too far away. Mulhead up, wanting four. to challenge that. I saw it, it's clearly long. Yeah, way long. Wasted challenge. Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. 13, nine, All left. Four point cushion now for Li Yang and Lu Chen. Nice, very, very clever. The slice there from Lu Chen. Across the body of Yepo Bai. Flatter, too. That's lovely placement. Oh, 
service fault called. Too high, Too high called on Mulheda. Service over, 15, 10. Oh, yes, that's where he's lethal, Li Yang. Yep. Dane's gone off the boil. 17, 11. And their suffering was a result of that. Coupled with the more thoughtful play, I think, from the pair from Chinese Taipei. Beautiful. What a lovely block from Yepabai. Two points away from taking the second game and forcing a third and deciding game of this second round match. Oh, good return. That's very clever from the Olympic Oops, champion Li Yang. 20, and with it 14. comes game point opportunities, six of them to be precise. First one goes a begging. 15, 20. Nice drop. Great disguise. One game all, 21-16, the second game in favour of Li Yang and Lu Chen. 21-16, one game all. 48 minutes into the match and one game apiece. Men jeg kan godt lide de sidste dueller her, fordi det viser bare, når vi rykker i benene og spiller de bløde, så er der plads. Nå, og det er præcis det, vi skal herover gøre. Ja. Vi skal rykke i benene. Og når vi står fremme, så bliver vi stående fremme. Ja. Okay. Blødt, 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 blødt. Tving dem til den. Det kan godt være, at de kan holde et til to dueller, men de vil ud af dem, ligesom de prøver her at lokke, ikke? Også hele tiden. Ja, altså, 
bare blive stående som bagmand på lige. Ja. Fordi han ligger bare og skubber forbi der. Ja. Formanden skal bare ind og have krydsen. Ja, præcis. Krydsen, der kommer. Ja. Helt sådan holdt den lige. Ja. Det kan godt være, at det er solgt nogle gange, men altså, de bliver nødt til at ja, men, skabe men, noget med det. Men præcis, men husk nu. Primært rigtig langt frem at stå. Tør at spille den foran, ja. selvom de presser op, ikke også? Og synes for overspillingen nu Ja, præcis. Og, og, altså, gerne mod forhånd, hvis vi kan, især hvis vi står lige for, ikke også? Men hvis vi ikke er, så står vi fint, det, hvor vi spiller rummen imellem, eller drejer dem. Ja, hvis vi kan, ikke? Ja. Okay? Ja. Ja, fræk i saven. Og catchen, den er her hele tiden. Og så lige den sidste ting. Vi skal dyrke lue, hvis vi kan. Ikke også? Det er, det, det, det er svært, men hvis vi kan, ikke for enhver pris, som vi har snakket om, ja. men det er stadigvæk ham, der er, ikke også? Ja. Vi prøver også ja. bare at spille sig selv hele tiden, så vi skal prøve at se, om vi kan altså, spille den rigtige. Korrekt, korrekt. Kort 1, 20 seconds. Kort 1, 20 seconds. Well. Kenny Jonasson still urging his players to hunt the net. Also, a bit of advice to play on Lu Chen. Final game. Well, Level that would seem play. sensible. Also, I think he's played very well in this match, but his partner is, of course, the Olympic champion. We know that he's brilliant. We don't know so much about Lu Chen, but if that's anything to go by... One love. He's more than holding his own. Completely this time back. In fact, he seemed to have a strange movement as for his head as he played that. I wonder if almost as if he was looking down. He's responding and responding well, Lu Chen. Uh, pair from Chinese Taipei and getting themselves on the attack and somehow. The Danes need to turn that around because they won't be able to move to the net if they're defending. Yes, clever. Both the players from Chinese Taipei were looking to encroach forward to the net, and there was a big, big gap at the back of the court. Oh. 
That's his second service error, and he was service faulted. Oh, gosh. I'm not so sure that the advice to play on Lu Chen is all that sound. Drive defence, and he moved forward himself and made the difference. Look at that. That's brilliant. And it was the defensive shot from Lu Chen once again that made the difference. Drive cross court, set up his partner. This one. Oh, behind the back. Really gaining advantage with that flick Four. serve. Clever placement. Service over. Nine, five. Yeah, because Mulhoda was expecting one down the line. He was committed to the backhand defence. He did down his forehand side. Clever awareness. Great shot. What a rally. Oh, double hit by the Danes. Spotted immediately by our umpire. Yeah, but it was a good, intense rally. Longest rally of the match so far. Over, seven, 
service over. Yeah. Eight, seven, interval. Not such a bad idea from Mulhead. That execution let him down. So it's a four-point advantage for Lee Young and Lee Chen. The change of ends in this deciding game. Husk, at lige han spiller i sin linje. Den skal vi altså have drejet med det samme mod midten eller helt kryds. Ja. That was a good angle. Oh, my goodness, they both left it for the other. Good play from Mulheda. Service over, 8-11. That's his second service wow. error, a fourth in total for the Danes. Oh. A good return. Push straight at Mu Chen. Over nine, twelve. Just over the hour mark now in this men's doubles. Brilliant, utterly brilliant from Yepa Bai. Aware of where the space was, and in the last couple of rallies, or few rallies, we've seen the pair from Chinese Taipei exposed as not really knowing what each other are doing on court. <laughs> The lift from Li Yang was woefully short, but what a calm and collected response from Yepa Bai. There's the lift. Where on earth was that supposed to be going? back level. Five of the last six points to this Danish combination. Service over. 13. 
No. <laughs> Look at it. Show me messes. Yes. Check. That shuttle come to him instead of stepping forward into it. Yep, or bye. Oh, that could be costly. Error on the return of serve. That's a gifted point. Oh, that's a delightful shot from Li Yang. Put top spin on that cross court net shot. Here it comes. Look at that. And that created the disguise. Wonderful skills. tight once more. Sixteen. He's got the nerve. Most experienced player on court, Li Yang, playing with the least experienced player, Lu Chen. Good placement of the smash from Li Yang. 17, 15, wipe the court, please. Wipe the court, please. Wipe the court, please. Uh, nine judge. Wipe the court, please. Not paying attention. As we watch that again, umpire having to ask three times at least for the line judge to go on and mop the court. No. So a two point advantage for Li Yang and Li Chen. Yeah, good return of serve, got the net cord. Over 
Oh, it's gone wrong. Oh, was neither of the Danes were covering that one. Very nearly here now in ten minutes. One game all. Seventeen all. Has to go down as a missed opportunity. Oh, nice play from Lu Chen. Uh, he really has responded well. Look at him. Trying to calm his nerves. Look at that little push. There was a moment of brilliance. Two points away from the quarter final. One point away from the quarter final. Three match point opportunities for Li Yang and Lu Chen. Oh, he should have put that away. He does this time. And it is victory to Li Yang and Lu Chen of Chinese Taipei. Coming from a game deficit to beat the pair who put out the defending champions. A beating by and Mulhother in three thrilling games. An hour and 12 minutes. Li Yang and Lu Chen, 26, 28, 21, 16, 21, 17. The final rally. Yeah. Well, it was a good match. But I have to say how well Lu Chen responded. I've never seen him play before, but he did play well. 26, 28, 21, 16, 21, 17 in the deciding game in an hour and 12 minutes. And it is Li Yang and Lu Chen through to the quarterfinals tomorrow. So as they take leave of centre stage, we can look back at second round action and reflect on what has happened today, which all started at nine o'clock this morning and it started with a three-game match. We ended with a three-game match as well. The three-time and reigning world champions, uh, Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan, had a magnificent match against Perli Tan and Tina Muraletharan, winning through in three tough games. Alfian and Ardianto, uh, who have been in seven finals so far this year, winning three of them. That was uh, fairly comfortable for them against Choi and Kim from Korea. And then it was women's doubles and the Olympic champion, Rahayu, with her new partner, Ramadanti. Well, their opposition had to retire when uh, trailing in that second game. Then it was the 2017 winner of the women's singles, Ratchanuk Intanon, 
who beat Zhang Yiman in two straight games. Then we had another three-game match in the men's singles with Jonathan Christie, the Asian Games gold medalist, beating Li Chek Yu of Hong Kong, China. Then another men's singles and the Asian champion Li Si Jia looked imperious in the first game, 21-5. In fact, he'd been 8-1 up in the second before it all got frightfully close and he closed it out 21-19. Then it was women's singles and the former world and Olympic champion Carolina Marin went down to Han Yue of China in two straight games. Then we had a three-game match in the mixed doubles. The former champions, winners here four years ago, and the reigning world champions Sheng Shiwei and Huang Ya Xiong uh, had 12 service faults or errors in that match before they eventually won through against Mickelson and Sobu 21-19 in the deciding game. Uh, then it was a repeat of the World Championship final from last year. And as in Huelva, it was Lo Kenyu who beat Kidambi Shrikant. He was a long way up in that second, 17-8 up before closing it out to 15. And as we've just witnessed in the men's doubles, will the Olympic champion in this scratch partnership with Lu Chen uh, beating Bai and Mulhova in three games. So quarterfinals tomorrow are a little later than today, 12 noon local time. That's uh, 10 hundred GMT from all of us here and especially from me, Jill Clark. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.